Hello and welcome to Hello Central New York. I am Mary Clevenight. We are joined with Howard Potter, who is a local business owner. He owns A&P Master Images. He spent his early childhood in the House of Good Shepherd. Howard, tell me a little bit about what that was like. Um, it was different. I mean, it's, it's a different type of setting. Um, basically you're in group homes with different kids you know there was a couple group homes that I was in where it was boys and girls um, other group homes it was just all boys uh, so it, it was different because everybody's uh, you know telling you uh, where you need to be if you need to you know if you need to go do something they tell you to go do it you had structure um, and a lot of people around you that weren't family so it was it was a different type of living situation than normal so how do you think that'll help with the kids that are there now um, be honest, I'm actually glad I went. Um, you don't hear too many people say that. And the reason being is one, there was structure. Uh, two, there was a lot of guidance. Uh, they taught me a lot about, you know, myself. And one, they taught me how to do chores, how to keep place, you know, keep a room clean, you know, do my own laundry, things like that. So there's a lot of different things that the house offers, like the structure. Um, they teach you independent living. Um, if you have uh, anger issues, they they, get, they teach you how to deal with that and how to grow from it and become a better person. So it was a very very good situation for me in the long run. So what was it like as compared to your previous? house life? Um, living at home, you know, I, I ran away a lot because I didn't agree with things, that, uh, the different living situations that were going on at home, um, living with my mother um, in, in the sense of, you know, um, didn't always have the best care as far as what we're eating, if we were, you know, eating certain things um, uh, from, you know, getting my school clothes, you know, hand-me-downs and, and garage sales and things like that. There was more to it than just that. Um, that was just some of the underlying issues. Uh, but it's it's a big difference. I, I never had to worry about where my next meal was coming from. I always, you know, had you know nice clothes to wear. I always had someone that, you know, even though the the employees at the house weren't family, they felt like family because they treated you like that. So you knew you had someone that, that cared about you and was worried where you were at at all times. And talk a little bit about your experience with owning a business. Um, the experience with owning the business, I started it when I was 22 out of my house. I purchased my house when I was 21, so I went to school for graphic design at MVCC. And, you know, I, it was always my dream, you know, even back when I did my two years at BOCES for graphic design to own my own business. So basically when I started out of my house, it was uh, basically a hobby. It wasn't, you know, anything that I was going to take it to the next level and this is all I was going to do. It just basically started out as a hobby, um, designing business logos, business cards, flyers, and then one thing led to another to where I started doing research on screen printing shirts, embroidering shirts, and then found a new passion of what I really wanted to do with the business. So you guys did a bowl thon last week. The fourth annual Children's Future bowl a thon has just started to get underway, and those hoping to land a strike or two are all doing it to benefit the children at the House of Good Shepherd. Eyewitness News reporter Chelsea Rarick is live right now at the Panorama in Utica, where the fundraiser just kicked off a few minutes ago. Chelsea, how is it going down there? Well, Chelsea, uh, well, Joe, just a few minutes ago, and people are already here bowling and hoping to get a strike. And right as a benefit now, for the House of the Good Shepherd, uh, what do you think that'll help the kids with? Um, yeah, the, the event that we held um, last week was our fourth annual um, Kids Future Bowl-a-thon for the House of Good Shepherd. Um, basically, th what the money goes towards is we've purchased pizza parties for the kids, duffel bags, because when I first arrived to the House of Good Shepherd, all my stuff was in garbage bags. Um, so I know what it felt like to be feeling like you're just coming off the streets and you have nothing. You don't own anything, you, you, you know. Um, and it's not your fault, it's just a situation that, that you're in and, and you're trying to make the best of it. So the duffel bags, when the kids come, whether they, they have their stuff in a garbage bag or not, they're issued at least one to two duffel bags. So they're, you know, if they move from another group home or they go to foster care or even back home, their stuff goes in a duffel bag. They feel like they have ownership of something, they can take pride in it. It's theirs, not anybody else's. Um, and then we're also fortunate enough, uh, Panorama, we were able to uh, do bowling passes with them for the kids. So we got, I think it was like three or 400 bowling passes last year for them. Um, we got Netflix. Um, we also, Tony's Pizzeria of Yorkville uh, hooked up with us and they're also one of the sponsors of the event and they donated a bunch of stuff to the event to raffle off, plus they were a sponsor. 
Um, but then we purchased, I think it was like 40 pizza parties from them, and they really helped us out price-wise, and they even offered to deliver the stuff to the kids. So these kids don't normally have pizza parties or things like that because, you know, it's a, di it's a different style of living than if you were at home with your parents and they took you out to eat, sort of say. So it, all these things really help pick up the spirit of the kids, and it also helps the kids and the staff interact with one another because it's given them a, a different venue to uh, learn more about each other, you know, over pizza, over ice cream, bowling together. So it's, it's great for everybody in a whole. So it was a lot of fun? Yes. Thanks a lot, Howard, and we will be speaking with you shortly again, I'm sure. I'm Mary Clevenite. Thanks for joining us on Hello Central New York. Okay, we're going to go live back down to the Panorama now where Chelsea Rarick is standing by. We're going to see how her bowling seals are. Our director, Justin, says he'll shave his head bald <laughs> if you this a is a strike, Chelsea. Well, guys, it's the moment of truth. I'm about to test out my bowling skills. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty confident in myself. I'm here at the Panorama for the fourth annual Bowleth Font to benefit all the children at the House of Good Shepherd. And here we go. We're going to see how well I can do. <laughs> oh. Well, it looks like I could not make one pen.